Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. Welcome to Tuesday, the 18th of May, 2021. Our topic today on the Seeds of Destiny is the fear of God and our priorities in life. The Bible says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Thought for the day. Your life is in order only when your priorities are in order. The fear of God reflects positively on our priorities with God. The fear of God makes God to have first place in your life's priority. When we say a person fears the Lord, it means that God himself knows. Mm -hmm. The devil also knows and everyone else knows that God is number one in that person's life. For instance, concerning Daniel, even people who hated him knew that God was the number one personality in his life. You could play with anything around Daniel, but never tamper with his God. You may say anything about him, but don't talk against his God. When a man fears God the way Daniel did, he would abide naturally among the wise. Now, we'd like you to take note of the following key thoughts. Your life is in order only when your priorities are in order. Your life is in order only when your priorities are in order. For instance, the number one priority of any man on earth should be God. His second priority should be his family, that is, his wife, his children. And after this, the next priority can be any other thing like work, rest, and leisure. But when you see a man whose number one priority is money, maybe number two priority is work, number three priority is maybe family and wife, and then number four priority is God. It's an inversion. There's an inversion of priority. That is a life that is out of order. It doesn't matter how much money such a man may have, his life is out of order in this world and in the world to come. Beloved, set your priorities in the right order so your life can be in order. Remember this, your life is in order only when your priorities are in order. What's our assignment today? Number one, ensure that God is your first priority in life. Number two, spend time with God in prayer and in the study of the word before you set out to do anything on any day. Ask God for the help and the grace and the discipline to do so. Let's pray. Say, Father, help me to set my priorities right. Help me to make you number one priority in my life. Oh God. In Jesus' name, praise the Lord. For further understanding, you may want to get the message titled The Beginning of Wisdom, which is the fear of the Lord. That's the part one. And um, our quote for today is, Until you learn to serve, you can not be served. This called from Finally Free from Singleness, written by my humble self, Dr. Becky Anenchen. Praise God. Uh, reading today, you, if you are following this, uh, Psalm 28 to Psalm 30. Praise the Lord. Now let's take a look at our reflection for today. What do you, what do the unbelieving world think about? What are their priorities? Then also, what are the priorities of your life? Can you list them in order of importance? What place does God and family occupy in your life, in your schemes of affairs? How will you order your priorities? Praise the Lord. Think about it today and make it order, in order, or put it in order. Praise the Lord. I declare upon you today that as you give God his place in your life, may he also give you your place in the land of the living in Jesus' name. God bless you. You'd like to be born again today? Simply pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I am a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. 
be the Lord of my life, wash away all my sins, make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please you, O Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. I pray for you as your day so shall your strength be. God cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you. In Jesus' name. Happy birthday to you. Peace. Thank you.